Over the past five years, cyber threats have significantly evolved from small-scale nuisances to advanced persistent threats. This demonstration will show that the fight against high-end cyber threats is a contest of wills amongst human analysts, not just technology alone. In this notional scenario, a computer network analyst at U.S. Transportation Command has set up a real-time alert for documents from the U.S. Computer Emergency Readiness Team. This new report is a warning about Advanced Persistent Threat, or APT, malware from the fictional hacker group CyberStoly. Not much is known at this time about the malware, only the effective operating systems, the beaconing time interval, outbound port, and a portion of the command and control servers. The analyst can import this data into Palantir by tagging the malware as an entity and assigning it specific properties. Given this initial threat information, the analyst wants to find out if his network is potentially infected. Palantir allows the analyst to manage the disposition of all the network hosts. First, the analyst will check which hosts in the network are potentially vulnerable to the malware. Here we see there are a number of computers that use Windows XP Service Pack 2, which is vulnerable to the APT. We can narrow in on these objects and remove everything else. By searching these objects, the analyst can find all outbound communications from these hosts in order to find their destination. This type of network data can be integrated from system logs, packet capture, or imported from system monitoring tools such as Splunk or ArcSight. From the original document, we know that the malicious IPs from this intrusion are associated with Russia. Using the map, we can narrow down the outbound communications to Russia in order to focus our investigation even further. Next, the analyst has to ascertain which of these communications to Russian IPs are malicious. The repetitive nature of communications is the most distinct feature of beaconing activity. The timeline and the time wheel helper will help separate the beaconing communications from the rest of the noise. In the time wheel helper, we see a distinct pattern occurring at 12 hour intervals at 0100 and 1300 hours. There is obvious mirroring at the alternate 12 hour times, and selecting only these intervals, there is a distinct picket fence pattern in the timeline. We have almost found all distinct properties associated with the Russian APT. Using the filter, we will hone in on those events that communicate on the ports mentioned in the original document. You can now see a clear beaconing pattern over a two-week period. It looks like two machines in this network have been infected with the APT. Now that we have confirmed the malware, we must investigate the vulnerability exploited and any possible malicious scanning signatures. Palantir can tie large repositories of log and packet capture data to individual objects on the graph. By examining this data closely, we can determine the service that the attacker exploited. Using Palantir, we are able to define how malware infects a network and can therefore defend against future threats even before a signature is developed. This capability is a vital tool in the fight against advanced persistent threats to important network infrastructure.